Now let's talk about Tesla's backup plan for the Cybertruck pickup truck in terms of like plan B. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk indicated that if the company's Cybertruck pickup truck tanks in terms of sales, the electric automaker, automaker Tesla will design and manufacture a quote-unquote normal truck with a typical pickup design but don't bank on seeing it. Tesla unveiled its Cybertruck in November 2019 and its design was met with both support and criticism from automotive enthusiasts. Nobody had ever seen anything like it before, a stainless steel exoskeleton wrapped over a futuristic and robust frame, powered by a series of electric motors that would give it impressive and useful capability on and off the road. Despite the truck's unique design, it has accrued a massive amount of pre-orders and has caught the attention of many people around the world, even though Tesla is prepared to design a new quote-unquote normal pickup for those who would like sustainability while hauling don't hold your breath on seeing it. You know, but what I'm thinking, one thing is that if Tesla Cybertruck has already accrued a massive amount of pre-orders, why is Tesla CEO Elon Musk concerned about a plan B for the Cybertruck? Any thoughts on this? So during a, a, a recent interview with Automotive News, Elon Musk stated that Tesla was prepared to deal with slumping sales when the Cybertruck is released in late 2021. There is a possibility that the company's first pickup will not do well, and Musk said that Tesla would adapt. Here is a quote. <clears throat> if it turns out nobody wants to buy a weird looking truck, we will build a normal truck, no problem, the Tesla CEO said on the Daily Drive podcast and continued saying, there is lots of normal trucks out there that look pretty much the same. You can hardly tell the difference. And sure, we could just do some copycat truck. That's easy. So that's out of our fallback strategy. In other words, this is Tesla's plan B for Cybertruck. But again, I still don't understand if Tesla Cybertruck, from what we have reported before, for and have heard uh, uh, from the media uh, different sources that Cybertruck has massive order pre-orders. I mean, at, uh, w even one later uh, latest uh, thing we heard is that Tesla Cybertruck may be close to or past one million pre-orders. It was there was a discussion on this in Reddit, Tesla Reddit. Why is this concern? I don't understand that. Tesla may probably have some concern, but like I said above, don't bank on it. Reports from various media outlets, along with a Cybertruck reservation decoder, had estimated that the company's pickup was pre-ordered over half a million times by the time February had arrived, February of 2020. The most recent update from the Cybertruck's owners clubs came in late May and the site had indicated over 713,000 total pre-orders for the truck electric truck so far one Cybertruck reservation holder who has pre-ordered two tri-motor configurations told Tesla Radi that the second reservation number indicated they were the 792,302 truck ordered on June 15 I put in my second Cybertruck reservation According to the CybertruckOwnersClub.com reservation decoder, that makes me 792,302 um, uh, in the, in the pre-order line. Although the prospective number of reservations is somewhat astronomical, that isn't stopping Tesla from preparing for the worst, for the plan B for its electric Cybertruck. A backup plan will be developed to be safe. Interestingly enough, one of the first segments of the Cybertruck's unveiling event last winter started with a comparison of the currently available pickup trucks that roam on streets in the United States. 
all trucks will have a cab and a bed, but the design of pickup trucks across manufacturers remains the same on a relative scale. There is a very little individualism between vehicle designs. Without badges, it isn't easy to decipher which car company is making each truck. Tesla's goal with the Cybertruck was to create somewhat something the world had never seen before. People hadn't ever seen any vehicle with this type of a triangular design in the modern era, but if any company was going to do it, it was going to be Tesla. Nikola Motors CEO Trevor Milton also offered Tesla and Elon Musk a design for a quote-unquote brother market. Milton indicated in the tweet from November 22nd, 2019, that Nikola doesn't build cars or trucks, but their design would be donated to Tesla just in case. That just in case was a quote. Since then, Nikola has developed the Badger, which is expected to enter the electric vehicle pickup market in the future. Whether Tesla builds a traditional truck design remains to be seen. Judging on the popularity and pre-order estimations of the Cybertruck, Tesla will likely not need to design a new pickup that will appeal to a broader market. Of course, consumers will have to wait and see what happens with the car between now and the initial production runs because Tesla is constantly changing the Cybertruck's design to make it the strongest vehicle on the road. Although I have heard some people saying that, you know what, I would not mind having a Tesla Cybertruck that looks like a uh, regular pickup truck. Maybe it would be a good idea if Tesla uh, comes up with two designs of Cybertruck. One that we have already seen, and let's call it a traditional, and the second, which they're already hinting here, like a normal truck, maybe special Tesla uh, regular looking truck. I assume maybe a lot of truck buyers may, be, may buy it, and Tesla can get another several hundred thousand orders of that. What do you think, friends? Let me know about this idea in the comments, please. So, things are seeming more apocalyptic these days. Let me tell you, the truck you want in the apocalypse is the Cybertruck, Musk said during that interview. The Cybertruck's dual and tri-motor variants will be available in late 2021 with the single motor configuration coming in 2022. The truck will be manufactured at Tesla's new Austin, Texas Gigafactory. By the way, if you are interested in Gigafactory progress, please subscribe to our channel because this channel has at least 3-4 reports a week about how progress and updates are going at Tesla's uh, Giga Texas. Well, here here are a couple of observations that I want to bring to you based on the discussions I saw in discussion boards about this, friends. And I'm glad Elon said that the production of the Cybertruck will be very close to the prototype and it keeping the dimensions the uh, and in keeping the dimensions of the Cybertruck the same. There shouldn't be any worries about the Cybertruck not fitting in an average gar garage. This was a worry several months ago. I also like the idea of not having to worry about paint and scratches with the Cybertruck. Huh? This is another good idea. And uh, I think the Cybertruck, uh, Tesla Cybertruck, will outsell all other pickups in some way. It will be limited only to production capacity. We may also see a Cyber Van or Cybertruck Junior, which I just suggested above, like a normal looking smaller Cybertruck in production soon after the Cybertruck is in mass production. Uh, do you have any thoughts on this, uh, friends? Uh, um, so basically what was happening, what the CEO Elon Musk was saying is that the CEO told the publication Automotive News, Tesla simply made a truck that the company thought, quote, was awesome and acknowledged its unconventional looks. In fact, Musk said the whole idea was to make the Cybertruck into a sort of futuristic battle tank. They talked about apocalypse and apocalyptic uh, trucks, but I don't know what anybody could do when the apocalypse comes. Huh? There is no, nothing anybody can do about that. If this isn't what buyers want, though its reception indicates Tesla may have struck gold. Musk said Tesla will simply do what everyone else does and build a more typical traditional looking kind of truck. Seriously, that's the plan, according to Tesla's boss. 
Tesla didn't immediately respond to requests from these publications that have reported this news, so there hasn't been any um, report from Tesla. Production of the Cybertruck is meant to start next year, and we now know where Tesla plans to build it. During the automaker's quarter two earnings call, the carmaker said it chose Austin, Texas as the home for the new Gigafactory to build the electric truck truck this is going to be a huge giga factory it's known as giga austin or giga texas and tesla is going to build tesla semi there model y and the cyber truck and who knows maybe at some point we'll start some battery production there too i don't know we'll see from everything i've seen and read cyber truck is a fantastic vehicle and it looks good too uh, different for sure but beautiful in its uh, in its way and is masterfully engineered in min minimalism, which I liked very much. Regarding Cybertruck's timing and stainless steel, it seems to me that late 2021 still sounds realistic. People, li people living in cold places say the main thing that puts vehicles to an early grave is road salt. The stainless steel construction of the Cybertruck uh, of any or any trucks best feature for uh, for from this standpoint being able to beat up on sports cars at the strip is also a bonus regarding cyber trucks conventional design uh, wait a few years and you'll see other trucks adapting maybe a triangular um, triangular silhouette of the cyber truck and super squinty eyes and almost no tailing etc this happens every time apparently a bold design comes to market others are forced to gravitate toward that so what are your thoughts on this friends um, this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel and like this video to show your appreciation please of all the people who have helped me to bring these reports and stories to you and i'll see you in our next report god bless you take good care of each other and i have a very nice comparison of giga texas's one week of work so you can see how much they have achieved in one week see you soon friends god bless you